I mean, the initial attraction for a guy is the woman's physical appearance. No matter how shallow that sounds, it's the truth. What would you say to the fact that, are you a little bit surprised that we have calibers like lawyers and professionals? Is that a bit surprising to you that a lawyer is looking for a man? Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. We're sitting here in Kiev. And are you enjoying your journey? I have really enjoyed the whole trip from start to almost finish now. Uh-huh. You're almost ready to get on the plane and go home. Yeah. And let's talk about the good before we talk about the bad. How's that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm interviewing Brad here. He's a, a client with Match Guarantee, and uh, he has quite a story to tell. A journey. This is your fourth trip. Fourth to trip Ukraine. to Ukraine. First three were not exactly successful. Right. Right. Exactly. And we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, this trip. What are your thoughts so far on your working with Match Guarantee? Uh, I've enjoyed it from, like I said, from uh, start to finish. Um, the girls seem like they're a lot more genuine. And uh, it, it does. Uh, you can tell that the the uh, the fraud or the the fakeness that I've experienced in the past uh, it isn't there. Nice. You know? Yeah. Nice. Seems like uh, the people, uh, the ladies up up there, uh, are genuinely interested in um, you finding uh, your soulmate, and the ladies finding the right guy too. And 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 you. Mm -hmm. you it just seems like y'all are really. You're doing it for more than just the the fees you received. You get, you know, you really want to help people. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah it, it it's a labor of love. It, it really is. Yeah. We, we all work for your success at Match Guarantee. And uh, so, how many dates have you been on? Can you give us an idea of your dating history? Um, this trip? Yeah, yeah. With with us? Uh, I would say uh, eight, uh, probably seven to nine. Yeah, that's plenty. In ten days, it's plenty. <laughs> Two it's, a day, yeah, and yeah. you all start blurring together. Yeah, and you gotta. You want if you find uh, that you want a second or third date, you've got to kind of halt it a little bit and mm -hmm. start. You know, the second or third date. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good point because it's nice to start deepening a relationship, yeah. choosing one or two girls and going a little deeper than first date, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, how have you found, have you found it um, overwhelming or how have you experienced dating so many beautiful I, ladies? I find it overwhelming. Two dates maximum, in my opinion, is enough because... Uh, you Per day. Right. It's, it's, it's tiring in a good way. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got too many beautiful women. Yeah, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Uh, you got to be on your P's and Q's. Uh, you know, everybody is when they're first meeting someone or whatever. And uh, it uh, it's an it's a good uh, tiring feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> good, a good tiring feeling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you share maybe what the dating experiences have been like? How do the ladies behave? How do you sense if they're truly interested in you for the right reason uh, or not and kind of may maybe tips you could give your fellow man out there if they well I think uh, some of them are interested in me I think they'll look at you and smile um, especially uh, the ones that know English and can understand you know your humor and stuff like that I mean if they're laughing and smiling and uh, mm -hmm. and you know it's like a real uh, like you know comes from the gut or whatever I've made a few of them laugh like that I mean it's uh, I think they're they're interested when they do that so, so would you say would you say trust your gut trust yeah, your own yeah, intuition? Tr uh, trust your gut. It's, it doesn't matter if you're here or back home or, or wherever. I mean, you just got to trust your gut mm -hmm. to know if they're interested in you. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know they'll start uh, being a little bit more affectionate. Not a lot, but a little, little bit more. You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Put, put your you know hand. I mean you know arm or. You, you know what I mean. Yeah, a little bit of touchy feely yeah. contact. A little yeah. Bit, uh, is a good indicator, right? And and maybe um, share about you've narrowed it down to your top two ladies towards the end of your trip. It's the day before you fly out, right? I think I've got a, a top two right now. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it plays out, right? Right. And can you describe maybe the process of how you narrowed it down to these top two, and why? It. I mean, it just 
happens. You know, it's, it's hard to explain. I mean, uh, you, of course, uh, beauty is all relative. It's in the eye of the beholder, but um, that plays, the, the initial traction for a guy, I mean, and this, I've talked to my friends back home, and you know, known this for 20 plus years, I mean, the initial attraction for a guy is the woman's physical appearance. No matter how shallow that sounds, it's the truth. And, uh, but that's all relative. Um, and then, you know, you start to, uh, you know, the personality plays a big role in that. Um, so. Yep, it's yeah, it's true. It's true. Us guys are very visual, right. and we're a sucker for the beauty, and that's the right. initial attraction. But of course, it has to be much deeper than that. Yeah, so oh yeah, that's yes. all the initial. Definitely. Yeah. So your two top choices: one, your top uh, one's a lawyer. Yes. Right. Uh, and the other, what's her vocation? Uh, she works in uh, child care, a babysitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so what's your experience of, of the caliber of lady in our database? I think uh, caliber as far as, uh, you know, uh, beauty and, but most importantly, sincere intentions, mm -hmm. uh, yours is extremely high, top notch. What would you say to the fact that, are you a little bit surprised that we have calibers like lawyers and professionals? Is that a bit surprising to you that a lawyer is looking for a man? Um, well, a little bit, but uh, it, it, is when, uh, it, it is compared to when I first started looking in Ukraine, but I've, this is my fourth trip here and I understand that there uh, are lawyers. I, I knew that before I came here the fourth time, right, you right. know, they're looking. Yeah. Yeah.